All right. Hey, y'all. I was just going through my drawers today and I stumbled upon my electro sluice. This is a device invented, I believe, by Jonas Gruska. He's a sound artist born in Czechoslovakia. And what this device does is it transduces electromagnetic fields, which are usually eh, inaudible, of course, into sound. And so we have a couple transducers here that, that convert the sounds that we can't hear, right? Because once again, an electromagnetic field is not a vibration in a physical medium, right? It's not a vibration of air, so it doesn't produce sound. It's just a vibration of electromagnetism, right? So it makes the unhearable hearable. Now you can buy these electro solutions ready made. It's all open source. And so I believe I found a make article and I used this in a piece called Smafo Sakebi, screams of cell phones, basically, screams of smartphones, where I took a couple iPhones, took a couple um, smartphones and used the sounds and made a sort of collage piece out of that. I think I even might be up on YouTube. I'll throw the link if you're interested. And you can you can find other resources about the electro solution online, too. I have my soldering job covered up here on the bottom. It's not very good. Uh, not that I got much better in soldering over the last few years, but, uh, you know, it, I, it's still not my greatest asset. Anyway, it takes this 9-volt battery, and then once it's hooked up, out of this 8-inch stereo audio jack, we get a stereo signal from these two transducers. Now... Since I found this, I remembered talking to another sound artist, Simon Smith, a few years back, and I'll, I'll link him in the description if I can find a, his site. But he told me, you know what's really neat is if you take this and you record the stereo from the electro sluice transducers, and then you put it side by side with the actual audio. And so that's what I want to just try today briefly. I have a couple other inputs on my Zoom so I can simultaneously record from these and these at the same time. And, uh, you know, I just want to poke around my house a little bit, see if I get anything interesting. How am I going to attach this to this? Well, uh, I'll show you. Let's, uh, let's see how we do. Okay, so y you can see my solution here is not terribly high tech. I don't want to do any damage to my Zoom. If I do some damage to my electro solution, maybe I'm not super stressed. Uh, I'll admit that when I was setting this up, between when that fade out happened, I broke off a wire and then I had to re-solder things up. Anyway, here we have it. L let's check a couple things out. I add those other frequencies in. Again, they're all above that lowest frequency. That well, so let's listen. All right, I'm going to leave it here for today. This Electro Sluice is a neat little project. I'll throw up the link of the instructions that I use to put mine together. But again, they're open source. You can make it. And if you're buying it from LOM, I think you're supporting the original inventor. All right, going to leave it there for today. Catch you next time.